Okay, so we're going to start with behind the back of the fire station, turning left at the end of the road, checking the main and left mirror, signaling left. Uh, there's some road markings and a sign around the corner. The sign's just off view of the camera, but we're going to pause and just look at what we're saying. So we're trying to go A339 south. As you can see, that's the left lane, not the right lane, which is the north. As we go through the lights, we need to check the main and right mirror. There's nothing there at the moment. We need to keep up against the line on my right that I see now, the one right by my right wing, my right tyre. Keep up against it. Keep checking that right mirror. Stay in the lane you're in. Keep following the lane. Keep an eye on what's behind you at all times because the lanes split and divide. So what we need to do now is keep to the right. So we're going to check our main and right mirror and keep up against the curb, not the white line, and then the grass on the left. Check the main mirror again in case the lights change. Keep in this lane with a warning for more traffic lights on the left and right. So as we come up to the lights, be ready to move off again. Going to speed up the traffic a little bit here to save some time on the video. Check the main and left mirror. Keep to the left in the middle lane. I'm speeding up the traffic again just to save time, but we just want the middle lane. Check the main mirror before braking. Slowing it down, keeping an eye on the mirror. You can see lots of traffic passing behind us and to the side of us. So keep an eye on those side mirrors so in case there's any bikes filtering through. That's either motorbikes or push bikes. Um, coming up to more lights. So looking behind us, we've got a van um, that's quite far back. So we could stop suddenly if we needed to here. And we're going towards A339. So what happens is this little bit of road splits into two. And we need to keep to the right, following the line on the right, not the left. Check the main mirror again as we go through those lights and the van is still behind us. So we're now going from A4 Thatcham towards M4 and Vodafone. The sign on the left there just showed us that we need the right lane at the traffic lights. So we need to check the main and right mirror. Keep up against the curb because this lane is splitting to form two different lanes with different destinations. We want M4. So we're now going to keep an eye on our mirror. There's nothing behind us at the moment. Now there's a car. We're coming up to lights. They might change again. So we're just watching to see if it's safe to stop, which it is. And in a minute, this lane is going to divide to two around the corner. We need to keep the left side of my bonnet on this line on the left as we swoop around this corner. Check the main mirror again, looking out for the traffic lights in front that might change. And you can see that there's M4 in both of those lanes. It's okay to use the right hand one, but then you'd need to manually change back, checking the mirrors, signaling, checking the blind spot and moving across. So therefore it's much better to just keep to the left. So starting from the same place, we're going from Thatcham this time to A4 Hungerville. So this time we want the line on the left to keep near it because we're going to split to the lane on the left of these two. So checking the left mirror, watch the end of the bonnet, it's glued up against that line on the left. A learner in front, they do make a little bit of an error here. They do correct it. I can't vouch for whether they've done it with checking the mirrors in the blind spot. But what we want to do is keep the bonnet, the left side, on the line on the left because the lane is about to divide. The learner in front is about to indicate and they're doing that because they've gone into the right of the two lanes. If we actually keep to the left, following the line on the left as we're doing here, we don't need a signal. Check the mirror as you come up to those lights. They can change and just be careful up above A4 Hungerford. Going past the fire station, sometimes those lights can go on, so be careful and ready to stop. So there's A4 Hungerford on the floor, and we just keep to the lane, because we don't need a signal, because the lane is taking us off the roundabout. Uh, it's not really a roundabout, it's just a one-way system. So this time we're coming from A339 Sainsbury's, and we're trying to go A4 Thatcham. That sign's telling us we need the right-hand lane. So we're going to check our main and right mirror signal, it is safe. Check the blind spot, move across, make sure the signal cancels, otherwise it looks like you want to go into that lane on our right. We're continuing ahead in this right hand lane, as per the sign said. We're checking the main mirror here, there's nothing behind us as we come up to these lights. There's two sets, so be careful. Another sign on the left, we're going to just freeze the frame and have a look. Um, we want the middle lane, because it says A4 Thatcham in the middle lane. And you can see on the floor, A4 Thatcham there. So we're in the correct lane, we've got someone behind us now, but we're travelling quite slowly, so always be conscious. As you move off in a minute, just always check the left and right mirrors because motorbikes, mopeds, bicycles will fit through these little gaps and you don't want to end up clipping your wing mirror on the handlebars. So we've got more traffic lights in front of us. A4 Thatcham written again on the floor, so everything's fine. We're in the correct place, the correct lane. And in a minute, this lane splits to two. And we're just going to pause any moment now so we can see what happens. 
I need to keep the left side of my bonnet up against that line that we're up against now because we could have also gone towards um, M4 by keeping to the right there. So just stay in this second lane, checking up above, it says A4 fat chimp, so we're in the correct lane. Um, in a minute, this lane is going to split to two, so we want to keep the left side of the bonnet up against the line on the left. Checking the main and left mirror, there's nothing down my left side, and if we had have kept to the right, we would have ended up going around the Robin Hood as per the first section of this video. So keep checking that main mirror, there is a vehicle behind, watch the traffic lights, we're quite close to them and they change, but I wouldn't have been able to stop there because I was only about a car length. So remember, amber means stop if it's safe to do so, and you can do so before the line without causing an accident. So we're now just going to uh, speed up the traffic a little bit. We just need to stay in the left lane here. It's really simple. So keep the, I say, the left edge of the bonnet up against the curve and that white line. Um, and we're just going to speed it up again a little bit here just to save some time on the video. Um, so we just need to stay in this lane now. Um, we are driving a little bit faster on the video. We don't recommend traveling at this speed. Do it quite slowly, it's quite bendy. Check the main mirror if you can't for the lights again. They're on red. Um, side mirrors, looking for bikes. Um, and we are looking to just stay in this lane. And we just keep following the lane round to the left. And we're now heading to A4 Thatcher. So on this clip, we're looking to come from A339 Sainsbury's heading to M4 and Vodafone. The sign there said we can use the middle or the right lane. As you can see, both lanes say M4. So we can go here. So a little bit like the previous video, but this time we need to kind of keep the right side of the bonnet up against the line on the right. We're staying in the middle of the lane at the moment, but I just want you to be conscious that this lane is going to split to the middle of the four lanes in a minute. So this lane will form lanes two and three. As the lights change, check the door mirrors, particularly the right mirror, and you'll see that we end up next to that silver car. So we want to be where that silver car's tyre was, there. And you can see there on the floor, M4, both lanes. Um, again, be careful with the mirror, uh, be ready for the lights to change. It says M4 above, so we're all good. And off we go. Okay, so last bit of the video. Um, we're coming from B4009, heading towards the town centre. Um, this bit of the video is quite good. It's going to show you why we check those side mirrors and are aware of traffic next to us. You might be in the wrong lane. They have no idea what they're doing, or perhaps they are used to doing it in a way that was from previously. Um, road markings change and this layout has changed a number of years ago but still people get it wrong. We need the right hand lane to go round the corner to the town centre and the lane next to us clearly goes straight on down the A339 towards Sainsbury's if you know where I mean. There's a white car in the mirror there, you can see it in the top right hand corner. That's going to end up next to us and they should go straight ahead towards Sainsbury's. Because I'm aware of them and I've looked across, I can already tell now that they're going to cut straight across me. So I've checked that left mirror because there might be another one and I've got to follow that line on the left and then join it up with the curb and then again um, just keep an eye out on the surroundings. So that's why we do it. Thanks for watching. I hope it's been helpful. For more information about what we do, find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash ultimate driving. If you'd like more information and other videos, please look at our website, ultimatedriving.net. Thanks again, hope to see you soon.